quiet. I'm hunting rabbit. Yeah, so let's head down to the firing range because the firing range is actually pretty fun. But first, before we go into the firing range, we have to turn on the firing range. So this is a live fire exercise where the guys have to dodge the bullets? They don't <laughs> dodge the bullets. <laughs> Dear Lord. That's that's what actual um, you know missions are for. <laughs> what dodging bullets? Right. I thought it was for playing catch with pineapples. It's for batting pineapples. Mm. Mighty hard on the bats. Yep. You're gonna have to hire Mo there or whatever is is and fix your bats. You are carrying so much. All right, so. Around the side where the pond is, is uh, the firing range in this first area that I'm going into. Um, this is going to be like the little on-site armory. It's got all, it's got weapons for people to use while they're at the range, and then it's got uh, ammo and that kind of stuff. So, and an arm, uh, weapons bench for people to work on things. So, um, so I built three lanes for the firing range. And uh, each lane is identical, so that way it's, um, you know, nobody can complain that their ring, their side was harder than the other or whatever. And then I've got a uh, spot for um, the scores to be taken. So, um, and then down the end, you'll see about here real soon, lights are going to come on at the end. Well, come on, don't make me a liar. So you see the green lights down the end? That means the range is hot. The range goes hot for 10 seconds, and you have to hit the targets, and it'll count your hits within a 10-second period. So, um, yeah, so you just go, um, let's, uh, let's equip a weapon here and uh, see how I do. So we'll use the, use this one, and... I only hit five times. Either that or 15. <laughs> Being so, I forgot that this one was going to be a... Uh, this is a full auto. I didn't mean for it to be a full auto, but uh, I'll have to go back and adjust that because I, I want it to be a single fire. So, um, yeah, so when you're firing a rifle, you stand here. And when you are starting with a pistol, you move up a little bit and we'll wait for the range to reset with the pistol and we'll go through the pistol range so the pistol the the plan is let's go on a different range here I'll wait for this one to reset so the pistol the plan is to uh, um, uh, you're gonna kinda do the forward motion as you go through so kinda like an assault semi assault course So you do double taps on each one, and then you empty your clip. And it says I only got four, but I think I got more than four. It, it is a tad bit slow on uh, recording the hits, so you can kind of hear them go. Yeah, so I got seven. Apparently I'm having some drop off on the, uh, the far line here. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's I, a pretty good little. Uh, I thought if nothing, range, isn't yeah, it? I thought if nothing else, it uh, adds a little something that you know. I've never uh, seen it before. Makes it so. semi-creative, so. So that one reset. We'll get them all back to zero. So that way I can do a demonstration in my in my uh, tour. So where's the counter? You said it counts your hits. I can't see it. Yeah, 
It's uh, got pylon right next to him. Oh, I see it now. Okay. If you stand in the right spot, you can actually see it count for you. Mm hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little dark. I'll have to. Oops. I'll have to go. Uh, oh, my go sleep and do this again in the daylight. I find you traveling a good can you still see the green lights in the daylight? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they're they're bright enough you can still see them. Mm. There we go. So they're all reset. You know what? I can just throw out a bed here. So why didn't you put in um, two-digit counters so you could go up to 99 shots? Well, because you only have 10 seconds. Oh. And 10 seconds is the most I can do, and I wanted to have it timed so that way you're just not just sitting there and look how many times I can make this thing go. And also, I don't know how to make it do two digits. Um, because it basically rolls... Oh, you bastard. It basically rolls back on itself after... Um, um, Alright, so we're in the daylight now. So it basically rolls back on itself uh, and um, um, so I was able to get eight. So yeah, basically once it gets to ten, I don't know if you ever use these counters. But once it gets to, well, once it gets past 9, so it goes to 9, one more, it just rolls back to 0. So it basically resets. And what these are actually meant to do is be a switch. So that I use these on my front door as my combo. Right. And you, you throw the switch, you, or you use a switch to move the counter to the number that you set it at on the computer or on the terminal. And then once it hits the number that you want, you go one past that number. Like, let's say I set it for eight in this regard, because that's where it's at. I throw the switch one more time and it goes past eight. Then it, this actually turns on and forwards the power. So that's when this switch actually turns on. Right. Are you using logic gates? No. Um, I thought about trying to use logic gates, but by the time... I was going to use logic gates. Um, it would have taken me quite a bit of effort just to figure out which logic gates and how many I was going to need. And Ooh. I was just like, you know what? I don't. I just. I'm been building up the castle long enough. I'm ready to kind of get it done and over with. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't even want to have logic gates. True. True. Yeah. So. Yeah, so there's my range, and uh, the good thing is, if I want to turn it off, because um, one of the things you'll notice, so like my uh, my weapons room, it's open right now. That the the switch that I have that turns the power on. The one of the main reasons why I wanted that switch is because it also shuts the door on my uh, weapons room. Right. Oh, that's so cool. yeah, I wanted to like have it be secure. And there's a security guy up here, right? So this uh, security guy, he's basically the one that would manage the range and uh, control the range. So Well, then he would be the range officer. Yeah. So um, I know about them things. Yeah. So he, uh, <laughs> um, he, he would be taking care of all that kind of stuff. So, that, you know, that's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, oh, it must have been that one. I didn't realize I... Uh, it is a 45. Yep, I did all 41 Bs. I should have done, uh, or B1s. I should have done B2s. Well, I guess this is it, old pal. It sure is. What? The end. Ooh. Check out the big brain on Brad. I knew I should have taken that left point of Albuquerque.